Chapter 11, Part 6. Grandpa Joe, sir, threw out the rope. Let it go, ordered Mr Wonka. They'll be all right now, so long as their parachutes are working. Rope gone, called out Grandpa Joe, and the huge transport capsule on its own now began to swing away to one side. Charlie waved to the three astronauts in the front window. None of them waved back. They were still sitting there in a kind of shocked daze, gaping at the old ladies and the old men and the small boy floating about in the glass elevator. It won't be long now, said Mr Wonka, reaching for a row of tiny pale blue buttons in one corner. We shall soon know whether we are alive or dead. Keep very quiet, please, for this final bit. I have to concentrate awfully hard, otherwise we'll come down in the wrong place. They plunged into a thick bank of cloud and for ten seconds they could see nothing. When they came out of the cloud the transport capsule had disappeared and the earth was very close and there was only a great spread of land beneath them with mountains and forests then fields and trees then a small town. There it is shouted Mr Wonka my chocolate factory my beloved chocolate factory. You mean Charlie's Chocolate Factory, said Grandpa Joe. That's right, said Mr Wonka, addressing Charlie. I'd clean forgotten. I do apologise to you, my dear boy. Of course it's yours. And here we go. Through the glass floor of the elevator, Charlie caught a quick glimpse of the huge red roof and the tall chimneys and the giant factory. They were plunging straight down onto it. Hold your breath, shouted Mr Wonka. Hold your nose, fasten your seatbelts and say your prayers. We're going through the 